Okay, let's get this out of the way. I opened my car door into my head and it really hurt. Just thought I'd let you know in case you're wondering what the big massive cut on my head is. That is that and it is classic me. Right, so we're now in the third month of debunking flat earth memes. And so far we've crushed a variety of well-known flat earth memes. And this time it's no different as today we tackle two flat earth memes that are quite closely related. This is debunking flat earth memes. I said memes a lot there. Hello all and welcome along to another meme debunking episode with me, Simon Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Before we begin today though, a quick thank you to the sponsors of today's video, Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. Whether you're just starting out or managing a growing brand, Squarespace makes it easy to create a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything from products to content to time all in one place, all on your terms. Now, you can start a completely personalized website with the new guided design system, Squarespace Blueprint. Choose from professionally curated layout and styling options to build a unique online presence from the ground up, tailored to your brand or business, optimized for any device. You can easily launch your website and get discovered fast with integrated, optimized SEO tools. So you show up more often to more people and grow the way you want. And if you have a shop, you can make checkout seamless for your customers with simple but powerful payment tools. You can accept credit cards, PayPal, and Apple Pay. And in eligible countries, you can offer customers the chance to buy now and pay later with Afterpay and Clearpay. Plus, you can measure your end-to-end -end online performance with powerful website and seller analytics. You can get insights on top traffic sources, understand how your reach is growing, track sales metrics, and learn where to focus new engagement. It's all the data you need to scale your brand or business. Fully integrated and clearly displayed. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash simandan for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Right on with today's video, which as you all know, is another Flat Earth meme debunk. This time we're tackling memes involved with Earth's rotation and its atmosphere. And we start with this one. This one is classic flat earther misunderstanding. These sorts of things make sense to flat earthers, so they run with them. Now let's have a closer look. So the meme says Glober's dilemma, stating an airplane flies at 500 miles per hour, but the runway is moving at 1,040 miles per hour. Now, before we address this, because there is a lot to unpack here, let's first look at the Earth's surface and atmosphere rotation. Now, we've looked at this before, and we know that a rotating body is measured with angular velocity. And with the case of Earth, this is around 2 times 10 to the minus 7 radians per second. Or... 15 degrees per hour, or if you want to make it really basic, twice as slow as the hour hand on a clock. The linear speed at Earth's surface is irrelevant because that speed is constant and you are moving at that speed too with the Earth. Now, we don't feel constant motion. In physics, it's the same as being at rest and it's incredibly smooth too. Now, the Earth spin does also mean that centrifugal acceleration is an effect of this, but that acceleration is so small compared to other forces we feel that it's negligible. So, not only is the linear speed of Earth's surface constant, the angular speed is incredibly slow, and if we couple that with the fact that our bodies have evolved over millennia on a rotating object, you can see how we do not feel that rotation. But what of our atmosphere? Now as Earth rotates, it drags Earth's atmosphere along with it. And you won't be surprised to know that this phenomenon is called atmospheric drag. And it pretty much means that the air moves in sync with Earth's surface. It's a bit like being inside a moving vehicle. You don't really feel that motion because you, along with everything else inside that vehicle, is moving at the same speed. So with all that being said, we understand that the Earth's surface, everything on it, and the atmosphere around it are all moving at the same angular velocity. And if you're a flat earther right now shouting wind, wind, well let me settle that for you. Wind is the movement of air caused by the uneven heating of Earth's surface. And when we measure wind speed it's relative to Earth's surface. So now we've got all that out of the way let's move on to our meme. Now the meme says that the runway is moving 1040 miles per hour so let's assume that that runway is on the equator because that is the linear speed of Earth at the equator. And let's assume that the runway is facing east to west. Let's not complicate it too much. Now before a plane takes off from our 
our imaginary runway, it's already moving 1,040 miles per hour, with the runway and the rest of the Earth's surface just by sitting there. When that plane takes off, it retains any speed it had from being on the Earth's surface. So any speed it flies then is relative to the speed of Earth's surface. If it flies at 500 miles per hour, as that meme suggests, then its total speed is 1,540 miles per hour relative to fixed space, but 500 miles per hour relative to Earth's surface. If it's traveling west, its total speed relative to fixed space is 540 miles per hour. 1,040 minus 50, but again, it's only 500 miles per hour relative to Earth's surface. So we can clearly see that the Earth's rotation makes no difference at all to any plane on any runway. It's conservation of momentum and Newton's first law, which is all undebunkable, I'm afraid. Of course, in actual flight operations, various factors such as wind direction and speed altitude and aircraft performance all need to be considered when flying. Now this is a ridiculous meme which tries to take advantage of the fact that not many people understand things about Earth's rotation and its atmosphere. But I promised you two memes today, so let's look at the second one and it is closely related and it is this one. Yes, it's the plane meme's cousin, the helicopter meme. Let's take a closer look. If a helicopter hovers for several hours, it can still land in the exact same spot. How is this possible if the Earth is spinning? Well, we already know that now, don't we? The helicopter is moving at 1,040 miles per hour, if it's on a runway on the equator, just by sitting there. So, as soon as it takes off, it retains that speed of Earth's rotation, and then hovers in an atmosphere that's also moving at the same speed. Therefore, the helicopter's relative speed to Earth's surface is zero. And that is why it doesn't just hover and wait for the Earth to turn beneath it. Because the Earth, the helicopter hovering, and the atmosphere around it are all moving at the same velocity. Well, there we go. What a satisfying one that one was, everyone. I do hope some of you learned something, and of course, if you see any derivative of the plane or helicopter meme on your internet travels, then clearly you need to link this video underneath it. So, we are therefore done and debunked for another Flat Earth meme video. Thanks so much for watching, it is of course truly appreciated. If you enjoyed it, please do consider subscribing to the channel, hitting the thumbs up button too, and like I said, share it as well, especially if you see any of these memes. Just enough time to once again thank Squarespace for sponsoring today. Remember, go to squarespace.com for your free trial, and then when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash simandan to get that 10% off your uh, first purchase of a domain or website. I've been Simon Dan. Have yourselves a great day, and I'll see you all on Friday for the return of Carl Adams, and this time he's talking about maps. See you then.